So let's talk about the uh, hydrogen peroxide technologies. <coughs> about 10 years ago, I was working in, uh, in Maryland. And a company by the name of BioQuell approached us to trial their machine. They were a company from England. It's the middle one here. BioQuell's hydrogen peroxide vehicle, vapor, uh, H2O2, 30%. Okay, and they had a robot, and they put the robot in the middle of the room, and it spews out all this peroxide. Now, and, and when that occurred, they had to shut the room completely down. They had to seal all the light switches, seal the high vac, et cetera, sprayed the room, and then it took about two hours for the room to clear. Okay, and they had the robot that said, okay, so many parts per million of hydrogen peroxide are left. Now, we actually trialed this at Hopkins. We went and, and we helped set up a trial in the ICUs at Hopkins. And I was working, you know, I was, I was doing my job at, at the hospital, but I was also interested in the technology. This was about 10 years ago. BioQuell is still out on the marketplace. Uh, it's still being used, but the, the, the key issue is 30% is peroxide. Steris, about the same time, came out with a similar robot, and it's 35% hydrogen peroxide. Now, peroxide, in high concentration is going to be just as corrosive as bleach. And we haven't talked about corrosiveness, right? That's a, that's a big deal. Anytime you're using an oxidizing agent, you're going to have corrosion. OK, so Steris came out about the same time BioQuell did. Then recently, Sanacil came out with a, a slightly different activated hydrogen peroxide, which uses silver as well as hydrogen peroxide. Now, Sanacil is based out of Delaware, and of course they're very angry because I'm not using them, but they also require shutting the vents down. Now, here's the drawback. If you spray peroxide, you're going to get water left, okay? That's okay. 30%, 35% is going to be highly corrosive. Sanacil's technique leaves silver in the environment. The question is, how much silver can you put in the environment without getting toxicity? One of the things you need to consider when you're using any product is what are you leaving in that environment that's going to cause damage later. OK, so if we, if we take four Steramis, BioQuell, Senacil, and Steris, you'll notice a comparison. 7.8 hydrogen peroxide is the starting product. It's not the active product for Steramis. BioQuell is 30%. Senacil is 5% H2O2 plus silver. And Steris is 35%. OK, any questions there? OK, so the, per the peroxide technologies. Now, I haven't mentioned the fact that there's also peroxide in liquid form. Like someone mentioned they were using Steriplex, right, a Steriplex product. You could put peroxide in a bottle and spray it, OK? But again, you're still dependent on the same wipe issues. You're still wiping. You're still missing areas. So Oxavir TB, uh, made by Virox, is, uh, is a product. It's also called Excel in Canada. Uh, someone just mentioned a product that they were using that has to be diluted either 1 to 14 or 1 to 20. Uh, somebody in one of the hospitals, who was that, that mentioned my notes here. Um, it's called Alpha HP, the sealed, sealed air technology. That's a spray, again, that you're having to dilute. So, the question is, is when you're spraying it, you know, what is the effectiveness of that product on the surfaces? OK, any questions there? OK, so again, peroxide, peroxide, peroxide. OK, Steramis does not fit into this peroxide grouping because it starts out as a peroxide, but it gets converted to a different product. OK, that's very important to remember. You're using the, the active ingredient that you're concerned about are the OH ions. 